now available for the first time in paperback. Stop simping in the workplace. Men, learn what you need to know in order to protect your job from workplace predators with Stop Simping in the Workplace. Available in paperback at online booksellers everywhere. A couple of days ago, I made a video talking about the black woman who went on a rampage inside of an Atlanta coffee shop in the airport when she was terminated from her job. And in that commentary I made on that viral video, I talked about how this black woman basically got extremely upset as she had just came out of a heated argument that she had with a co-worker over espresso shots. And as she had that heated argument with that co-worker over espresso shots, she was already upset and emotional. And this white beta male manager decided to terminate her employment, which further exacerbated the situation, turning an already emotional and upset woman into a woman who was all turned anxious, and then when he denied her an opportunity to get her belongings from the back, what he did was turn this woman into a desperate woman, and this is what laid the foundation for this altercation between this black woman and this white manager, and it led to her looking to slap this man and assault him, and then he pushed her on the ground. She grabbed a chair, and another co-worker took it, then she ran in trying to charge the counter by racing up the whole counter to get to the back to get her stuff. And this basically turned in a simple situation into a major altercation. Now, this whole incident is not just an isolated one. It's all part of a disturbing trend I'm seeing regarding black females in customer service because I also saw a video that Brian Solange presented where he showed a black female at a Walmart who was being terminated for alleged theft. And this black female, as she was being terminated for alleged theft, also became very emotional and became in a place where she got in the place where, just like the other black woman, where she became desperate when they took her cell phone and her belongings, and that turned into another altercation inside of that Walmart, because that white beta male manager also escalated the anxieties by bringing police in, and this whole situation became another incident with an altercation between a black woman and white or non-black management, and it's all part of a disturbing trend that is continuing to get worse. And basically what we're seeing with these altercations between black females at work who are participating in this behavior, I'm not gonna generalize, and these white beta male managers is basically America reaping what it sowed, later than what it sowed, greater than what it sowed, and what's happening here is the result of 60 years of feminism where the chickens are coming home to roost. Now I go in depth on this in two of my books why 70% of black women are single and the woman crisis. And in both of those books, I detail how feminism basically laid the foundation for all of the altercations we're seeing in these viral videos where these black females who are working in customer service jobs are participating in this type of out of control behavior. Now, the reason why they're participating in this out of control behavior is because that behavior had been enabled in those women over the last 60 years. Now, back in the 1960s, when the white feminist movement wanted to get people to become a part of their movement, they told black women they were being oppressed by black men. And as black women joined with the feminist movement, what happened with many of those women is they joined that movement because they, one, wanted white acceptance, and two, they wanted to get benefits from white society. And the white leftists did enable these women by giving them benefits, one, through the welfare state, and two, through jobs that black men were supposed to receive through affirmative action. 
And they did this because what they wanted to do was emasculate the black man and take away his economic power. And they wanted to take away his economic power because they knew if the black man controlled the economy, the black man would be looking to build wealth and he would look to compete against the white males who are a part of white supremacy and their non-black supporters. So what they wanted to do was give the black female the de facto position of head of household. And as they gave her the de facto position of head of household, what happened in the black community is the black female was given economic power. And as she was given economic power, she began to dominate the black community and as she worked at these jobs with whites and non-blacks, she was the one who was seen as the leader and she was enabled by these white men. And as she was enabled by these white men who gave her preference as related to hiring, what happened was we've got a lot of these black women on the job and now because they're on the job in large numbers, they, some of these women feel like they don't need to respect white male authority anymore. Because when these women see other black women hiring other black women and see other black women in supervisory roles, they see themselves as having power. And as they see themselves having power, what they believe is that they don't have to respect white male authority and that's why you see so many of these women out acting out of control right now because they no longer respect or regard many of these white males who they see as basically being soft and weak similar to the way they see Pookie and they have no regard for these men and that's why they act out on these jobs because they no longer respect the authority of these white males. And these white males basically are reaping what they sowed, greater than what they sowed, later than what they sowed, because they wanted to undermine the authority of black men. They wanted to undermine the order of black men. They wanted to undermine the economic and political power of black men and they wanted to undermine the, the complete order of God's natural order, and now they're dealing with the individual they enabled, and they're actually dealing with the person that they spoiled and entitled. That's what's happening here with these videos that are going viral. What you're seeing is white males basically having to deal with the monster they created and spoiled and entitled for three generations. Because over the last three generations, what these white males have been doing is they'll go out here to t stick it to black men, go out here and create this feminist and gynocentric HR brick wall to keep black men out of the job market. And as they've done this and hired large um, populations of women, making them the largest part of the workforce, now they are in a situation where their grandsons cannot really manage these women and supervise these women. And what's happening now is they are now having to deal with everything that heterosexual black men had to deal with for over 60 years with the ratchet black woman. What the current white male supervisor is dealing with right now is the same type of ratchet and out of pocket behavior heterosexual black men have to deal with at home. And that's what he's dealing with right now because in his system of white supremacy, he didn't want to share power with the black man, and he didn't want to give that black man economic power where he would have his own job, make his own living, be able to build a life. And now that there are no men leading the black community, he's finding it's hard to lead this black woman because he thought, oh, his white skin would enable him to lead some of these black women. 
but what's happening is he can't lead the VW because they don't respect his authority and that basically was shown at that coffee shop where this woman basically just went out of control and went out of control because the male had not been raised to be a man who could lead and just relied on all of the benefits and goodies and giveaways that white supremacy gave him but never learned any sort of discipline or resolve and because he did not learn any discipline or resolve what happened to this white man is now he has to deal with the same ratchet black woman on the job and he's stuck with that black woman I talk about this in why 70% of black women are single and the woman crisis because he didn't want to work with black men. No, because he was a racist who wanted to go out and have his social hierarchy where he thought he would be on top. He's being challenged for his authority and these white and non-black women are basically making his life a nightmare because he now has to deal with all of those women and none of the men that he didn't want to hire are, are there to help him and don't want to help him because he threw a middle finger up at everybody. I mean, it's just they're sitting there overwhelmed and stressed out. And they're sitting there overwhelmed and stressed out because, yeah, you did this to yourself and you're reaping what you sowed, later than what you sowed, greater than what you sowed. And this is the bitter harvest for many of these white males these white males are suffering a bitter harvest as related to this entire situation. And that's why they're dealing with all of these ratchet women. These ratchet women are not even just black women. There are white women, too, who have no regard for these guys' authority because they saw with the Me Too movement, these men basically have taken away the rights of men. And as men lost their rights due to the Me Too movement, and these convictions like Jonathan Majors and Bill Cosby, many of these women have no respect for male authority, no respect for male authority figures, and you can get, I'm guaranteeing you, you're going to see more disrespect directed at men like this and situations that get out of control because these males basically are not equipped to be able to lead women or be leaders in situations. No, these beta males just cannot control any situation, and that's why you get the chaos like you saw at that coffee shop in Atlanta. Now, if you want to learn more about what leads to so many women having no regard or respect for men or male authority, you can pick up my book, The Woman Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and candle format. You can also find The Woman Crisis at other online booksellers like Smashwares, the iBookstore, Google Play, and Barnes and & Noble. And if you want to learn why so many black women are having a hard time being able to function in life, you can pick up my book, Why 70% of Black Women Are Single, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find Why 70% of Black Women Are Single at other online booksellers like Smashwords, the iBookstore, Google Play, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, and Target. And if you want to pick up some of my other men's issues books, like the Simp series or The Man Crisis, those books are also available on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format, and in digital format at Smashwords, the iBookstore, and Google Play. And if you'd like to see me make more videos about the whole situation between men and women and how it's getting worse, you can send a donation to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available for the first time in paperback, why 70% of black women are single. Learn all the reasons why so many black women can't find a husband, why 70% of black women are single. Get your copy of why 70% of black women are single on Amazon. Now available in paperback. From the author of the critically acclaimed book, The Man Crisis, comes The Woman Crisis. Learn why so many women have become lost in their quest to have it all in The Woman Crisis. Get your copy of The Woman Crisis in paperback at Amazon.com and online booksellers today. 
now available for the first time in paperback why 70% of black women are single. Learn all the reasons why so many black women can't find a husband and why 70% of black women are single. Get your copy of why 70% of black women are single on Amazon.com today. Support black owned and black operated digital broadcast media. www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.